actually, so we were talking about the Yasuo ban as well. Yep. The Yasuo needs to be banned. Um, right, like, ban. Yeah, right now. Apparently, um, Mundo on Mercy's team uh, pretty much carried their other game. Really? Yeah, that's what I heard, so. Smart ban coming out from Purple Team. Let's see how that goes. So, by the way, I call this guy uh, Sad Dad. <laughs> He's the Sad Dad of the team. Alright, so Caitlyn being banned as well, and that's going to be banned away from Frequency, obviously. And Ezreal. Interesting. I don't like that. Um, yeah. Mostly because if you check out the match history... Match history oh, yeah, so it's open. He takes it. Oh, no doubt. Alright. This is going to be a good game, ladies and gentlemen. I'm excited. So, one thing that could happen, though, is he's, uh, he's definitely looking for somebody else to be on the team that has a knockout. Yep. Or knock back. They all count. And he's clearly got the mechanics to be able to pull it off from something as small as a vein knockback or ribbon or whatever. But is it going to be comfortable for that person to play that character? That's what it comes down to. I hope Frequency takes Jinx right here. Jinx is such a good champion. Scales so hard. Lucian is more... Okay, so this is indicative that they're going to be going for more of a siege team. Right. Um, simply because Lucian is just so good with his poke, so good at sieging, so good with his wave clear. Um... And that might be how they want to deal with the ass will. That sounds like the other game ended just now. Yeah. Which was so back and forth. But anyways, we'll go over that at a later time. Um, Sona Graves, interesting choice. It's going to be a lot of AoE as soon as those ults come out. And that's, it's honestly horrifying. Like, I, I hate fighting against, I hate fighting against Graves Lulu. I think I just don't like fighting against Graves. Graves is a very abusive AD carry. Yeah. If he gets ahead, he's ahead. Yeah. Um... So what it looks like here is you ride a big AoE team comp, and it looks like they they might go for like an engaged team fight comp because the Lucian really does signify that he'll be going for a poke comp. He doesn't scale as well as Jinx. He's pretty much exclusively used for a poke or siege team. Um, I'm not sure how the bottom lane will go there, but maybe some hard engage uh, to be expected from Red Mercy team and. Strong jungle there, Elise picked up. That'll be great for hopefully uh, keeping Red Mercy down. Here's open. Um, you know, we were talking about possibly a camp on Red Mercy. And Yasuo, now I know that he's got like unlimited dashes basically, but he cannot dash backwards to his own minions. Yeah. So that could be, you know, that could deter him from pushing up too far forward as, as long as Elise, you know, makes her presence known. Well, he actually can dash back to his own minions. Just really? Or, sorry, not his own minions, but he can dash. Like, the way that his E works is that um, it's it's like his where like, you can yes. shoot through, right? So he can E towards his tower as long as he kind of like leaves a minion back there. It's not like Cow where you can jump back, but right. it is still very effective for escaping ganks, um, especially since he can use his wall to kind of shield the cocoon and prevent it from hitting him. Right. Um, so... Yeah, this looks like, I was saying, a, a hard engaged team, and then the Jarvan to help with the Yasuo knockout. Um, that's really big. That'll be great for ganking mid lane. That looks like a really good combo. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if there is maybe a Nidalee pick here, coming out from Purple Team, if that is what they're going for. Um, be a very OGN style comp with the kite and disengage, and then uh, connect him to, oh, Fizz. All right, so we'll see Fizz round two. Now, Fizz against Yasu, I think it's going to be a little bit better. It's going to be easier for him than the Kale. Yep. Though, it's Red Mercy's Yasuo, and I definitely think he's going to know how to exchange very, very well. Yeah. Let's we'll see how that plays out. Now, one thing I am looking at here is you've obviously got a very tanky Graves. A very, like, not very, but it's a tankier ADC. Very tanky uh, Nasus. Very tanky Jarvan. Mm -hmm. That's basically leaving two characters that are probably going to be focus fired first. One of them is Yasuo. Yep. That could be a little bit problematic because yep. obviously Yasuo is going to be diving in there looking for some squishies. Yep. We're going to see how it plays out, but that's one thing that I'm going to obviously keep my eye on. A lot of this game really does rely on Steel Cell. And he is uh, lucky that it, he's against an AD mid and there is no real AP damage on the team. So he can go for some armor seals and then just take uh, AP level blues, which would be a really good choice against this team. And if it comes down to it, they really do have the potential to win the 2v2 mid lane. So if Steel Cell can get ahead and keep Red Mercy down, anytime Red Mercy will go in, he'll pretty much get exploded instantly because they have the Lulu ult, they have the Fizz ult, they can really take care of him quickly. So 
However, I do know that Red Mercy is a big Fizz fan. I was just talking to him right now, and he was thinking that um, he might actually pick Fizz into Steel Cell so he could just kind of crush lane. Obviously, Yasu is open, he takes it, but I don't know if Steel Cell will be able to do it just because Yasuo is such a comfort champion for Red Mercy, and like I said, he also knows how to play the Fizz, so. Right. And that's the thing, too, is, and I always say this to people, is when you, if you're looking to get better, play one champion a lot so that you can learn what advanced mechanics feel like, mm -hmm. and then you can move on to other champions. However, you also want to play other characters in your lane. So if you choose a lane, you want to play all of the characters in that lane, if you can, and get per pretty decent with them to know what the other guy's looking to do yeah. with that champion, right? Yeah. So The only champion, like I'm a mid player, the only champion I ever have an issue with is Kenneth, because I've never played him, don't yeah. like him, and he's an abusive auto attacker, and like I just don't... I'm just not 100% sure on how I want to play the lane all the time. And it's simply because he's the only mid laner I've never played. So. Right. We're going to have to do some 1v1s later. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. I don't know if it's even worth my time, to be honest. Oh my goodness. Yep. Wow. I'm uh, I'm a serious deal. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna quit. <laughs> you cast this one alone, buddy. That's fine. <laughs> all right. So are you going to call for the Lulu carry this game as well? No, I don't think so. Um, if it wasn't Red Mercy on Yasuo, I probably would. I think Lulu's just such a strong pick against this kind of... Like, they really only have AoE coming out of uh, Gragas. Everything else is single target, pretty much, right? Right. Um, and Lulu, if she has a well-placed ult, can pretty much just... Like, an ult into a Polymorph into a Kite um, on a Nasus or a Jarvan or even Yasuo, who, granted, he does have a lot of gap close. But that can absolutely shut, shut down that champion. Right. If he doesn't play it perfectly, if he doesn't have like uh, a great engage from Jarvan where he can just get in there and still have all of his abilities up, he could very much be useless. Right. Exhaust too, man. Like, it's there's a real possibility of Red Mercy being very useful, useless this game. Um, I just don't expect it to happen. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. You know, I expect to see some big plays from Red. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, he's also got the Graves in there to help him with the knockup, right? Because just look at the look on Gray's face. He's clearly gotten <laughs> several women pregnant. He wants pregnant. to knock something up this game, huh? Yeah. Wow. He's, but the only one he's got the option for is Elise and Lulu. I don't know if that's his taste. I don't know if that's his taste. And you can, you know, when you're limited, we can all. It's just true. I guess. Uh, I think we've taken this maybe a little bit too far. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Feeling a little bit uncomfortable here. <laughs> hey, Gray's a good looking guy. Um, anyways, he's, so... He's very manly. He is. He's, uh, he's got that sapling chart, you know. Dead man walking. He's got nothing to lose, so he's Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, let's, uh... <laughs> That's why he didn't pick Jinx. That's why he went for Lucian. Yeah, so he can't get altered. Makes sense. Uh, that's smart. No knockups. <laughs> Say hi to 500,000 people. We're at half a million now. Nice. Uh, cool. No big deal. This is actually a, a really hype tournament, by the way. Everybody out there is like, <clears throat> they're going nuts. Yeah, it's packed here. The last game, um, which I still have yet to find out with the, what happened there, but when I looked, it was 12 12. And then when I came back and looked a couple minutes later, it was 20 20. Yeah, like, and then it was 27 6, and one team got mid him, and the other one got buried, and they were pushing that, like, yeah. We left right as the final, well, maybe not even the final team fight was going on. It didn't yeah. sound like the final team fight, actually. Yeah, no, no, no. I think that's what I'm doing. Yeah, anyways, it's gonna be do or die. One team has already moved on it, because I'm pretty sure that game's. Excuse me, ended. This one's do or die. It's either Red Mercy. Yep. Or. What is the name? It's my ace. It's my ace. Reminds me of uh, you ever seen World Models? It's a, it's a pretty funny movie. It's uh, what's the guy? It's Stifler from American Pie. Right, right. And uh, dude from I Love You. I don't remember names. I'm not good with that. But they uh, they do a LARPing. Dude. Yeah. And these guys go to a LARPing thing, and they're like massive Kiss fans, and they become like this Kiss country, and it's called Kiss Myanthia. 
It's it just reminds me of that. Funny movie. If you haven't seen Role Models, check it out. Absolutely hilarious. <laughs> but let's get into this game. Kiss my ace against Red Mercy. Let's see what happens. All Pretty right. standard starts coming out. Cloth armor from Fizz. Uh, looks like he'll probably rush an early uh, arm guard. The Sona opting to go with the blue support item, which name I forget right now, but uh, gives you gold when you attack and a little bit of AP. Usually not picked up by many players, especially in the competitive scene, but I'm sure it does have its place. Um, maybe to appeal the Renekton or something like that. However, uh, other than that, pretty standard starts coming up from everyone. At least starting Doran's Blade, actually, which honestly I think was good in the past, but now with the jungle changes and how early you need to get a jungle item to stay relevant because the gold generation from the jungle items are so strong, I don't know if that's maybe the smartest pick. However, if she is looking to do some early invading, maybe take advantage of that Jarvan. We'll see if she can make some plays with that. Yeah, and actually Jarvan fit into that pool as well. I remember that was kind of like a fad for, it, it, it honestly lasted like maybe a month, but, yeah. <laughs> excuse me. Basically, any jungler that at level 1 or level 2 could get a an attack speed buff, they were just going with Doran's Blade because it just yeah. fit so well. Yep. Um, now, Fizz almost forgot his trinket, but he's got cloth armor and potions, which I really like because that'll go nicely into his Zonias. Mm -hmm. It's not a useless item, and it's going to help him survive. I don't think he's looking to win the lane. Like He knows that he's, he's not going to be really shelling out a lot of damage to Red Mercy. Yeah, it's probably going to be the opposite way around. Like, But he played it really well last time, and I don't doubt that he's going to do the same here. Yeah, so Red, um, not showing where his jungler started uh, by being in lane at the start, and that's actually really bad for Fizz. Fizz giving a leash like that pretty much gives Red Mercy a free half a level, um, the ability to push, and that just means that he's going to get level too early. If he shoves two waves into the tower, it'll be able to reset, and... Uh, it's gonna be not a fun time for Fizz, I can tell you that right now. That's like, that's what you do when you want to win a lane, and Fizz being there for the long leash could honestly mean the lane for him. Yep, I definitely agree. And he's gonna continue pushing here, just like you said, and he's, he, he started with the, uh, I forget, I don't know the name of the ability, the whirlwind thing. Uh, I don't know, it's his Q though. Yeah, right, so he's started with his Q, and it's definitely a smart way to go. It's going to help him push that lane. It's got a nice AoE with the procs um, with the different charges on it. But yep. and, now, and now, like you said, so he pushes down the turret. Fizz has got his uh, his E, so he's going to be able to dodge some damage. And actually he's CSing pretty good. He is CSing, CSing well, but at this point like, Fizz does CS well at tower with his W. Yep. However, it's really not about his farm at this point. Red Mercy is just going to be looking for the kill. And, uh... Maybe he should have started Doran's Blade, that might have helped him a little bit. But uh, obviously going for the safe pick with uh, Gank. So bottom lane, looks like we're seeing a gank coming out of Jarvan. The uh, EQ flag and drag combo was dodged by Lucian, so a good play for him. Uh, nothing really spent bottom lane. Just a little bit of damage going back and forth. Yeah, actually, in the end, it, by the looks of it, Frequency and X Demon Hawk actually come out not that bad. Like, he's, he's still got an HP lead on Graves, which after a gank is never something you want to see. Yeah, Red Mercy able to just kind of keep this against this tower for days. Um, the auto attack reset on the Q is also really nice because you can uh, CS and auto attack, and like CS and trade at the same time, Right. Um, which is really nice to have on a mid laner since the wave is so small. You don't really have the option to kind of zone, you need to do both at the same time. Right. Um, looks like we could see some action mid lane from both the junglers. It is really low on mana at this point, so he might not actually be able to help and Jarvan coming in, they could even look for a dive at this point, but I don't think that's going to happen. That is really aggressive. Um, obviously, Fizz does have his flash. Looks like Jarvan might move top since Renekton is super pushed. And Elise is going to have to go either mid or bottom at this point. Yeah, and I think Jarvan's actually going to be relatively successful. Here he goes moving in here. Nice bait from the Nasus. Oh no, but the flagging drag. He, fu he finishes the Q anyways. Despite the fact that he got slice and dice through, but I mean, hey, I think he could have been very successful there if he just waited yeah. for the slice and dice to go off and then then started the. Uh, yeah, there's at least combo. flash. 
Flash Goku are not able to be successful, unfortunately. Good uh, intuition by Sona backing out at the right time. Yeah. Uh, Lulu could have baited that a little bit better, honestly. She was For just sure. duking it out, and she was winning the exchange. Mm -hmm. So by the time Elise decided to move forward, it was already decided that Sona would run away. But still, some great exchanging happening here. And it's it's support versus support in this bush control. And on the top side, it's Lucian versus Graves. So, uh, and, and you can't really avoid that. Like, Graves can't just help out the support because they'll get hit by the Lucian and vice versa. Yeah, there is a, a pretty big range difference in this lane as well. Lulu outranges Sona, Lucian outranges Graves. However, there is a lot more burst from uh, Red Mercy's team, so. Yeah, this is going to be really interesting. The Frequency is going to have to auto attack a lot of minions to get his way back up to the HP that he wants to be at. Mm -hmm. But I think he's focusing more on the Sona than the Graves. Typically, you don't see that, but Graves is, a, like we mentioned, a tankier AD carry. His passive is really, really nice. Wow. Ooh, a lot of damage going down there. Frequency, I think, is kind of smelling blood in the water right now. Yeah, I mean, in this lane, it, it is kind of a sustained battle, so what he needs to do is uh, try and work down Sona's mana bar as best he can. Yeah. Um, mid lane, you can see how that CS uh, battle is turning out, though. Red Mercy is pretty much in full <laughs> with his passive up, doesn't even care, just push him, push him, push him. And that's kind of, uh, that's just what happens. Oh man, he interrupts that base. That is real unfortunate for Fizz. But uh, at least it's going to be there to pick up the pieces. She's going to be able to see us. The problem is that Yasuo still has potions, and he's he's still able to push. He's got full HP. So he's not going to have any problem here keeping Elise here. He's going to help his team out. Frequency, though, going for the kill, gets shielded and decides that this is not a good idea. Sees Jarvan come in. Very smart reaction, and he backs away. Yeah, they knew Jarvan was there. That tri-bush is warded, and I think he was just trying to pick up a kill if uh, the Sona misplayed a little bit more. Um, good try by him. Obviously, safe in lane. No reason for him to do anything silly. He's uh, winning in CS by 12, which is pretty impressive at this point, to be honest. Yeah, so between the brothers up top lane, we're seeing relatively similar CS. I'm a big fan of Nasus, because if you get ahead in CS, you know a good chunk of that's going towards the stacks of your Q. And Renekton doesn't have anything like that. So yeah, Renekton's really good 1v1. I, I've heard him refer to as like the the height bar where like you can only enter if you're this tall kind of thing because he was the guy who was determining like if you can't beat a Renekton then you probably as a character don't just belong in top lane. Yeah for sure. So um, but I think Nasus, even though he's below C 3 CS, I think he's actually ahead. A little bit of a misplay from Red Marines there, missing his Q unfortunately. Tried to get it while he uh, dashed through the minions. Um, but like we were talking about, the amount of pressure that he's causing in the lane is just this has gotten like 2 CS in the time that it's taken Red Mercy to get another like 6 or 8 rather. Yeah. 6 to 24, that's huge. Um, some of it's mechanical though, I'm watching Fizz try to CS and some of it's missed based on mechanics. Yeah, well at least looks like she's going around for a game. Um, Fizz is going in, he does get the Ooh. all. Here we go, uh, Elise is there to pick up the pieces. Fizz with a really nice playful trickster and first blood on to Red Mercy. Uh oh. Yep. We're gonna have some problems here as Fizz you know, Fizz didn't, uh, Steel Cell on Fizz didn't do that bad despite the fact that he was, he had the crap beaten out of him, let's be serious, yep. um, in the last game. This time around though, he's got more CS, yes it's a third of what his lane opponent has, but it's actually not too bad because he's got that assist to back him up. Yeah, unfortunately it wasn't a kill for him, so he wasn't able to kind of get back in the lane. Um, he has a Sheen now, where Red Mercy has most of his uh, static ship, and it's still going to be really hard for the Fizz at this point. Um, it's a little bit of help, but it, it's not that big a deal. Red Mercy also still has his flash up, so we'll see if Elise can snowball with that kill. Looks like she's trying to move top lane. Nasus is pretty low on mana, and looks like they can go for a dive. Elise did use her E to get in there, though, so she might not have it to get out, but that looks like a free kill. Good yeah. play by them. Yeah, good job. Sad Dad goes down. Said that one of my favorite names of the tournament. And uh, Elise, man, doing some work here. She helps pick up both of the kills for her team, leads them into a nice 1100 gold lead. And could this be the demise of Red Mercy and his team already and just in the group stages? Yeah, I mean, uh, Frequency, we haven't even really talked about him. And he's, you know, been that pressure, that threat in the last couple of games. Uh, and I would not be surprised if they actually do give Red Mercy a run for their money. Now, uh, would you be afraid as Lucy and Lulu right now because of the level 6 from Sona Graves? I'd be more afraid of the Jarvan, to be honest. Really? Um, I think that with, well, like, 
depending on how good Yasuo is, and, or sorry, not Yasuo, depending on how good uh, Lucian is, he should be able to read the engage coming from Graves. He has uh, a dash that is pretty much exactly the same as uh, Graves's, and Sona will have to flash alt to really hit him unless he mispositions largely. So I think if he's accounting for it, and like we've been seeing, his mechanics are pretty solid, um, he really isn't in that big a danger. Um, Lulu's a perfect support for dealing with that kind of burst lane. She's got that feel, she's got that uh, ultimate, that polymorph. Um, I think Jarvan would just really be the only issue. Yeah. And look, you can see here, uh, Lucian just deciding, I'm gonna burst down this wave. That's usually a telegraph that you wanna go back yeah. and pop your ultimate on the wave. You can see Graves here trying to take advantage. It doesn't really matter. Lucian's running around right now. He's actually gonna be going for a very quick Trinity Force by the mm -hmm. looks of things, as is Nasus. Trinity Force is a big, big deal in the, the, these games. This could be a gank from Jarvan bottom lane. He is walking really close to that ward. He might catch them in their base time. And this could be, he's got double buff. This could be big. Nice juke. And Jarvan misses that flag and drag flashes over. And Lucian seems to be getting away, away from this one. No problem. Actually turning the fight on its head now as he's dealing a lot of damage to Stricken Blaze. And Mint Fresh is actually low as well. So in the end of this exchange, surprisingly, they got three characters down to the same HP that both of them did. Yeah, they just didn't have the damage, really. I mean, all Graves has right now is uh, a Vamp Scepter. Yeah. And I mean, to be honest, Lucian's already pretty tanky with that Phage. does give him like 200 or so HP. And I mean, that guy's up to 35 CS. That's pretty big. Not as big as Lucian is right now, who's up 50 CS, but not yeah, bad. So. Oh, sorry, yeah. Yes, well. That's all right. I, uh, I see the similarities. All right, so MFG Color trying to get some damage down here to Nasus. Surprisingly, he's doing a good job of it, despite the fact that Nasus does have that Thorin shield. He's got that extra HP from the Phage. He's uh, really working himself up to be a tank, but big turning point for Nasus is when he picks up that Sheen. It's a super big deal if you're looking to win lane. But here we go. Red Mercy getting jumped on here. Shuriken, one, two, three. I, I bet his heart's pounding right now. He's like, I'm about to kill Red Mercy. Yeah, for sure. But... Uh, and it, I'm sure it was the first time he got around to it as well. So honestly, taking a look at um, Kiss Mice's team comp, like I was saying, I really think that they probably should have gone for a pull comp, and that kind of looks like what they want to do, um, simply because Renekton built his Tiamat. And what that uh, kind of signifies, or what it looks like he's going for, is that he wants to be a split push threat. And generally, you're going to do that. You'll have someone who can cause that pressure, someone who can clean up fights, and... Um, you know, really really bring a lot of pressure to the top lane, which he's doing already. He's uh, already got the one kill on Nasus, and it looks like he's probably just going to keep scaling, pushing him in a tower, pushing him in a tower. Um, the only problem is Fizz is not a poke champion. He's a cleanup champion, so if Lucian gets really strong, maybe they have to see, but right now Renekton doesn't even care. The only thing I'm worried about is that they really don't have that much tankiness. Um, Elise went double Doran's blade, so she's kind of focusing more on damage, um, and then Renekton also going for the, the team at it could be an issue for them because their comp really doesn't sync or doesn't really follow the way they're playing. Nice ultimate oh. from Jarvan, catching the, the Renekton on the second part of his uh, slice and dice. Yeah, and it's they're still gonna go for the tower on this, or sorry, they're gonna go for the tower dive, and it will work out two just real big boys up in that top lane. They're gonna have to stay there and push. Jarvan leaving here would be a really bad call. They're going for a dragon down in this bottom side. Lulu actually takes it with Smite not available there, or what's going on here? Uh, yeah, Smite wasn't available, so again, we're seeing that, uh, I think that's the same player who did, who just did not save his Smite for Dragon Yeah, Tons. I think it is. They pick it up anyways, but yeah, Jarvan's staying top lane, that's gonna enable the, uh, the attack speed for both of them, and they're gonna crack on tower. Yeah, good play from Kiss Blaze. Great, uh, great counter play. Alright, so we're one and two at this point. I'll make some predictions here. I'm actually gonna say that Sona will be the next to die. I think Fizz is gonna be the next today. I don't know, man. I don't know. The thing, he's playing pretty passive. The thing about Lucian, or I keep calling Yasuo Lucian. Oh, yeah. um, the thing about Yasuo is that even though he has his uh, oh, this could be bad for Red Mercy. Yeah, here we go. Fizz is in there, but is Red Mercy gonna get the kill? He, he, might be able to he will get the kill. But the ignite is still ticking, and as well as the W passive. But Red Mercy's still going here. Uh, all Elise needs to do, there we go, repel and then switch, or flash. Could have switched and then just auto attack from a distance with the red buff. Um, so, Red Mercy played that really well. He ulted right when the uh, Fizz ult was going to hit him, so he wasn't interrupted. Actually, the knockup happened when he was already in the air. 
And that was a really good play by him. That's not something that's easy to do. Um, he needed to know... He, he planned it in advance, and he, he pulled it off perfectly. It's really impressive to see that kind of move. Yeah. And there's uh, MFG Color trying to get some damage exchange here on the Nasus, unfortunately. Nasus is uh, got his ult soon. Frequency, though, getting jumped on. Lulu all comes out, and Sona dies off here. Mint's fresh, though, getting exhausted as well as trans, uh, transmute, transmorph, whatever it is. And uh, looking for another flag and drag. He's going to toss that one over to, to Graves. Top lane, there's a kill going down and stricken. One, two, three. He's going to stay up there, exchange that turret. Is the same thing going to happen bottom? Could be an important call here whether Jarvan stays. It looks like he's going to leave. Yeah, um, that was a great play by Jarvan. That's kind of just what happens when you don't have flash and you're ready to carry. Um, especially when they have that much damage. There's so much CC, so much lockup. There's not really much you could hit on there. Let's see if Red Mercy can make a play here, though. Uh, Elise doesn't have flash. Oh, but the dash comes in. Red Mercy then gets stunned. Really smart play. He could have actually dashed to the uh, the spiders. Yeah, that would have been sure. sick. Um, maybe if he had had like a good shield to interrupt the cocoon and then a nice double dash. Yeah. Could have been. Could have been. I actually, you know, I've seen some really sick plays with the wind wall, mm -hmm. but I. This game so far, I haven't seen it. Though, against the Fizz, it's not going to be too effective. Yeah. Uh, it could stop his ult, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it will. Um, I was watching Chaucer stream a lot recently because he's been playing a lot of Yasuo, and uh, that's something that I've seen that's really impressive. Like, he would get Ezra ulted right in the face and just block it every time. Like, eight or nine times in a single game, he blocked it. No problem. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Well... Definitely a, uh, a really, really tactical uh, utility tool there for Yasuo, but have not seen it quite as effective just yet. Um, wow, Lucian is doing a lot of damage right now, and let's take a look at the item uh, differences. You got a BF, so going, going for a Bloodthirst, so I like that build on Graves, and it looks like the same thing on the opposite end, with kind of signs of Trinity Force in there for Lucian. Yeah, so basically the, the, the way you make the decision when you're playing an AD carry is just Pretty much, if you have enough for the BF sword, it's generally worth getting it because yeah. it just helps your push, it helps your sustain. It's just generally the better item for Russian you can afford it. And it looks like Elise isn't able to pick up the Jarvan. They might be able to turn back around on the Elise who doesn't have her flash still. What's going on here? So she just gets caught up pretty much uh, straight up, but she and she will get slowed down, but just not enough. Lulu's there to save the day, and Stricken still with more than half HP. Up in this top lane, though, it looks like you were absolutely right. Renekton, all he wants to do is split push. Unfortunately, Red Mercy, he's just not getting the job done. They are shutting down Red Mercy just by not being around him, basically. Yeah, even though the CS is pretty close, I mean, not super close, but it's not ridiculous for the Nasus and the Renekton. Look at the items he has compared to, to the Nasus. Yeah, there's not much you can do about that. That's crazy. And if he gets, you know, if he gets the Sunfire, I was thinking this earlier. If he gets Sunfire and Tiamat, he's gonna be able to like all that AOE is just gonna be nuts. So, look at that build coming under Red Mercy. Actually, I'm used to seeing the Static Ship into uh, I Edge. I Edge, yeah. But it looks like he's going for a Triforce, and I wonder if it's maybe he feels like he needs the mobility or the utility or something like that. I've never seen that before. We'll see how it works out for him. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. I definitely think I Edge will be in the build at some point, but he's yeah, probably going to sure. want some lifesteal as well. And Fizz, look at this. Fizz using his ult just to get away. Of course, the shield from Yasuo is completely broken. Or, I mean, fair. I can't I can't think of a good way Balance. to describe it. Uh, but it completely absorbs the entire Fizz ult, no problem. Nice. Oh, look at this. What a crazy play. I don't know if I agree with it, because I don't think he'll get the kill. But, you know, pretty cool. Yeah, that does create a lot of pressure in the lane. Um, maybe he'll be able to rotate bottom and make something happen, considering that... Uh, oh, actually, no, Lucian does have his flash up right now. But um, they are quite pushed, and Elise is in the vicinity. Yeah, and in goes Graves, as Nasus will come down towards his bottom lane. Oh, nice dodge from the Lucian, and he turns things around with the <laughs> ultimate. But the Nasus does so much damage with the Q. Did you see see that mess. Holy cow. Yeah. But, uh, and it's looking like Elise is gonna get in here as well. Fizz coming around the corner, though. Is he gonna be able to get anything done? Red Mercy says nope. We're gonna drop down that kill. Reckless Schlong is gonna pick up the kill there, and, uh, Fizz gets dropped, so really nice exchange in there for Team Red Mercy. Dragon's gonna be up in two seconds. Don't go back, guys. It's right there. So, we're ready to go. Dragon comes back up. Seven to five, the kill count, and pretty much even gold. Yeah, that was a really poor play by Fizz. He got a little bit too high through there. Pretty much just ran and died, unfortunately, giving the other team the dragon. Um, 
the Nasus did so much damage with that early Sheen, that early Triforce. He really did do um, an unexpected amount of damage and was able to capture that team off guard, I think. Yeah, it's like honestly just super impressive. And the, the amount of damage that Nasus is doing with just the Trinity Force, ugh. Yeah, I'm it, not looking forward to that. It does make him a little bit weaker in lane, I think, before he gets the item. But as soon as he does get it, as soon as he does complete it, um, he, he just skyrockets in terms of his strength. So let's see how this goes next. Because as of this point, no dragon. And a couple of towers are cracked. The more towers that are cracked, the more likely it is that a, a team is going to group. So let's see what happens. And I think the ball is certainly in Red Mercy's uh, court yep. and his team's. Where are they going to go next? It looks like bottom turret is actually going to get cracked. Uh, actually, Lucid needs to stay on the ball here. Crack that turret before you leave. So you've got a 2-2 turret. And now Kiss My Ace is actually ahead in the gold. And Nasus is way out of position here. Yeah. All right, so a bit of exchange happening in top lane. It looks like Lucy, or sorry, Yasuo and Fizz running up there. And uh, actually, Renekton and Elise are going to back off there. They notice that, hey, Yasuo's not here. He's probably going to come to try to kill one of us. Yeah. That yes was super strong. He's 100 TS up on the Fizz right now. That's alright. That's an okay place to be. It's not the best. Yeah. Oh, huge! Oh. But he misses. I actually thought that hit. Yeah. Nasty. Okay, well, Frequency in there, getting his CS on. 200 CS for the Renekton to 147, so there's an advantage there. Certainly not an advantage in mid lane for them. But advantage top lane and bottom lane and the jungle as well. So, for uh, Kiss My Ace, that is. Let's see how this all pans out as the, it is now grouping, and it is around the mid turret. Farther out the turrets are, I call them tier 1, 2, and 3. The higher numbers get closer to the in hit. Um, tier 1, definitely the easiest tower to take, but with mid, there's a nice little choke point there, whereas the other ones, there's kind of ways to work around that. Um, we'll see how this all goes. So nice damage exchanging there from Stricken. Dodging the Nasus Q as well. That's a lot of damage. In comes Jarvan, though. We're going to start this fight off nice. And that MFG Color in the background here. Sona will go down. And MFG Color gets away from this one. Frequency gets dropped. Yasuo just so nasty at this point. Gets Shark. He's going to take a couple of turret hits as well. And what a team fight for Team Red Mercy. Picking up a ton of kills. And now they're making a huge push. Possibly going to pick up an inhibitor. That was a great Sona ult. She hit three members at the end of that fight. Uh... The Nasus was kind of excluded from the team fight because of the Jarvan ultimate. And he just turned on the Renekton, beat him down, and then the Sona ultimate, as soon as the Renekton down, or went down, allowed Red Mercy to get an ult on three people and just clean up that fight. Great play by Sona. Um, and that makes a big swing in the game. We'll see what uh, Kiss My Ace can do to come back from that. But um, honestly, at this point, it's pretty much just the battle of the carries, right? Like, it's, it's the two diamonds that pretty much stomp their lane and are looking to carry the games by themselves. Uh, top lane is the only thing though, the Renekton is very strong right now. Um, we did see Nasus pretty much shut him down completely in that team fight though, with the simple wither. Since the, uh, I don't know, I don't know if they'll be able to win. Um, it, it's just really close, you know? I feel like the Sona is the, the main factor at this point because that AoE, dis or that AoE engage, that AoE lockup, Something that Fizz has as well, it just, it's just, it's not the same, you know what I mean? He, he just doesn't have the damage to make it a big threat at this point. Right, and I would argue that Sona's actually outputting not the same amount, but it's a lot closer to the amount that Fizz is putting out than it should be. Nice dash away, that could have been a lot of trouble for Lucian if he would have got caught up by Red Mercy there. So smart stuff. Off they go with another push here, and like you said, Renekton wants a split push, but it's Nasus that has the teleport. In my mind, I think MFG Color should probably start ta looking into taking Teleport towards the top lane, especially if he's going to go for a build like this. Yeah. Um, I'm really not sure why he went the team match, to be honest. Like, sure, it helps him uh, push, but there's not much that Kiss My Ace can do in that situation. I mean, the Nasus is just going to sit up there, hold his push. You're not ever going to be able to dive in Nasus past 25 minutes. There's no way. And he's got teleport, so I don't know. I don't think it was the wisest item choice for him, but uh, we'll see if he can maybe do something. He, like the uh, Elise and the Renekton went heavy on damage, so right, right. 
Alright, so another engage happening here as Reckless Schlong with a nice ultimate. Gonna try to get away from this one. MFG Color does not have Slice and Dice up. In comes Yasuo and a kill will go down. As Sona does get picked up, Shark's gonna bite air. And they will be chased back here by Nasus, who's so strong. Oh. Running around in a great Jarvan ultimate to lock him up. Red Mercy on a kill. It's pretty moving forward as well. Sad Dad drops another kill onto Elise and Renekton really just trying to fight everybody back here. Lucian does survive, but it's not going to be enough. There's no mid-tier turret double kill, and that Q just so gross how much damage it's doing. Yeah, that Nasus is huge right now. Ugh. Man, oh man. So, the inhib will go down, and like you said, it's looking very grim for Kiss My Ace. That's, that's really interesting. I mean, he's down pretty much 100 CS on the Renekton, but it doesn't matter. He's Nasus. He crits your carries for 500 damage in 20 minutes with no real damage items other than the Triforce. It's crazy. He's gonna be picking up that uh, Sunfire Cape as well. So we're talking about split pushing. I think he's got the availability to do it now. Yep. And with the AOE wave clear from the Sunfire Cape, it's gonna go a lot quicker. He's got teleport. It's gotta feel pretty good, but another engage coming down as MFG Color gets jumped on. Frequency is in the mix as well. And, but he's got Wind Wall up, so, I mean, Yasuo and getting a lot of damage there as well. Yep, so we'll look towards Baron. That's probably where the next play is going to be. Um, obviously, Red Mercy's team needs to back. They're going to pick up their items. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, the Elise, uh, she picked up two Thorns Blades early. And unfortunately, she didn't really do much with it. Generally, when you build like that, you either want to counter jungle or gank a lot. And she kind of just farmed. Um, and that isn't generally the best way to spend your gold. Because, like you've seen, she's just sold it and all she's bought is a Sunfire Cave. So, maybe not the best itemization from Elise. Um, her farm is kind of a little bit deceptive. It's not as well spent as, say, the Jarvan, who's already picked up MR to deal with the Elise and the Fizz. Um, and the Renekton ult as well, but it looks like we have a pause coming down. Um, League of pauses. No League thing. of pauses. So, do you like the, uh, the black and white? <laughs> More of a, a sepia. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, look at that Red Mercy build. He actually built uh, Tima now. Really interesting. Haven't seen a build like this before, but obviously it's working for him. Yeah, I think he knows what he's doing. Like yeah. you said, he's been playing since PvE. There's going to be another dragon going down here. That's going to be in the favor of Red Mercy. Live dragon no more. Yasuo, or sorry, I keep calling him Yasuo. Yasuo. But Lucian is actually bottom lane. Just going to go ahead and head back right now. And well, let's see what he picks up. Lucian's got a Trinity Force, Bloodthirster, some standard stuff. He's gonna have to work his way back. I'm pretty sure he's waiting on a couple of gold, just grabbing himself a long sword. But that's gonna be a bottom turret crack. We'll see how fast that goes down with the Jarvan standard and the Nasus. In we go, beautiful Se uh, Sona ultimate. Red Mercy on a rampage, smoking out that double kill, and another one's about to drop down here as well. MFG Color picks up the Jarvan, however, and that's gonna be interesting. Lucian goes down, and come on, Yasuo. Come on, slow down, quadra kill. Not quite the Penta that we saw last game, but jeez. Now we know what to ban. Yep. I don't know, man. This mid lane was kind of just so one-sided. They gave Red Mercy his favorite champion. He picked Fizz into it, got pushed on really hard, didn't really do much. Fizz is just, I mean, he, he's pretty much non-existent at this point, and it's really unfortunate for Kiss My Ace. Um, I think another pick might have been a little bit safer, or at least a ban on the Yasuo. Right. Well, here's my challenge to you anyways. If you, if um, Red Mercy actually does end up winning this game, it's looking pretty great for them, and I, I think that might be the outcome. If Red Mercy wins, your team must not ban Yasuo. Uh, he actually asked me if I was going to not ban Yasuo, if uh, he didn't ban a pick that, see like I was talking about earlier that his girlfriend is on my team, and right. uh, she's a little bit limited in her champion pool, and I was talking to him, I was like, yo man, like, come on, don't, don't ban the champion that we want to play. And he was like, all right, tell you what, if uh, Yasuo is not banned, then I won't ban it. You so gotta save him for last. We, uh, we're <laughs> we'll see if maybe some sort of under the table deal can be worked out, but I, I think I might want to like go with some some support top maybe instead of a Yasuo man. I don't know. Right, right. All right. Let's see how this goes. Or you could play Yasuo. Yeah. I could. You still hold your end of the bargain, right? Yeah, that's true. Okay, so. What do we have next? You got two inhibs down. Baron could be a very easy pickup here for Red Mercy. And in fact, I think that they should do that just to force the team fight and see what happens. Yeah, it really is. They don't even need to do it as long as they draw them out of the base. Uh, bottom lane and middle lane are both pushing, and that's just going to overflow their base, and eventually they'll have to go back anyways. 
The mid and hip does respawn though, so that is great for Kiss My Ace. However, Red Mercy is right there, right on the doorstep down, so. You know, I just don't think there's enough lockdown. And there are, there's not just the Yasuo, but there's the Jarvan and the Nasus also getting to the back line. Oh, the wind wall still kind of stop that. Um, so it goes up frequency on the front line here, and you can tell he's he's not really too concerned. He, he I feel like it's not even about being concerned. He's just tilting, man. He yeah. knows he's strong. He's 100 CS up on the enemy AD carry. And any game that's pretty much standard, that'd be huge to be able to win straight from that. Yeah. But uh, just not much he can do at this point, unfortunately. Yep, and it's going to be now Lucian heading over there trying to do something about this. You've got the Elise as well. Does she have wards? Because that's going to be very important. She's going to want to repel over that wall. Is it too early? The she red team it. steals Baron Nasher. And Red Mercy is over that wall, however. Frequency is going to try to duke this one out. He, he dodges the pop-up, and that's going to be good. However, he gets locked up in the Jarvan ultimate. Beautiful play, and this is going to be a turnaround here. Red Mercy gets hit with the shark. He gets the pop-up on him. Is this going to be a turnaround? MFG Color gets in the back line here. That's going to be a kill on Iyasu, and that's what we needed to see. Sona goes down as well. Double kill for Renekton. Pushing forward here, and this is going to be an unreal turnaround. Are we actually going to see a turnaround on this game? You've got a full Baron team other than Elise. What's going to happen here, although the base is being hit by some yeah, pretty Yeah, look at their base. We'll see what's going on with the tower there. Um, it could be bad. No, they'll be fine. They'll save it. But, um, yeah, uh, a little bit of misplay from Team Red Mercy. Not really the best coordination in that team fight. And uh, the Lucian was pretty much able to just kind of slowly fight the people off one by one. Red Mercy missed his third Q knockup and unfortunately wasn't able to go on frequency. And frequency just used the items he had, used his utility, and just completely damaged the team. Um, the Biz landed a great alt on Yasuo to keep him from getting completely out of the fight. Just well played by Kiss Maez. Great team fight from them. Yeah, right on, man. So that was nuts. Um, actually, I didn't even notice if Yasuo had gotten his ult off. Did he actually ult somebody? I don't think so, no. I don't think he did either because you've only got the two, well, including Graves. Uh, so you've got the two knockouts, really, Jarvan and um, yep. and Red Mercy himself, and none of them hit. What Jarvan did was he EQ'd and then flashed and then Cataclysm. Okay. And there was no knockout for Red Mercy to follow up on. If he had maybe held his Q, uh, he could have done something, but Lucian dashed right as he threw it, and uh, honestly, an outplay that allowed them to win the team fight. Smart stuff. Uh, I mean, not to mention it helped that Fizz landed his ultimate on Yasuo. That's really nice. It didn't really... It didn't do too, too much, but at the same time, it made Yasuo think to himself, okay, I don't want to be here when I get popped up, so I'm going to go to the back, lay down, kind of lick my wounds, and then see if I can yeah. get back in there. It also gave uh, the Lucian enough time to free cast, knowing that he had at least five seconds to do whatever he wanted um, is more than you expect. Uh, and that kind of, that ability to free cast on an 80 carry to spend like that is huge. Yeah. Okay, but again, we do have another inhibitor down, so mid inhibitor was retaken in the midst of everything here. It's It doesn't have too much time. I want to say it's near a third to halfway already done, but or are already coming back from respawn. However, when you've got Baron, you have pushing power, and that's going to equate to, okay, well, we've got mid inhib down, let's just push mid so that the minions aren't like backdooring us, Yeah, basically. Yep, uh, not sure if there's too much they can do about this mid lane, especially since Nasus is knocking on their back door, and he is strong. He's gonna one-shot those towers, pretty much. I just noticed the, uh, Elise W yep. cr crawls under the spider, or under the wind wall. Interesting. Or through it, but yeah. I like to think of it going under. <laughs> A little, uh, circling for kind of thing. Uh, uh, hey, I know what you're referring to. Okay, so uh, in that bottom lane though, you can see Nasus with the extra move speed is actually kind of a big deal. It allows him to basically walk away. He doesn't have to burn any summoners or anything like that. However, even with Baron, it's going to be Red Mercy pushing into Kiss My Ace. Now, I really would hate to see this turret go down. You do not want to open up a second inhibitor, but at the same time, you need to bank 100% oh, on Renekton here. That should have been a fizz off on the Sona. Red Mercy was ready with his all or his W, but uh, I really think they needed to capitalize on that right away. Right, right. If they could uh, prevent a Sona all from going down, that would actually be really huge, to be honest. Yep. Um, it is a lot of their team fight pressure. All right. Speaking of pressure, this Nasus man is just not giving up in this bottom lane, and unfortunately, 
when Nasus backs off really far, that means that if he wants to teleport, Renekton's not going to be able to get to him in time. So he's actually doing something really smart by just backing off really far and not even farming the wave. That's forcing Renekton to back off as well. So it's kind of, again, it's kind of like that accordion thing. When one side goes back, there's this as well. Red Mercy getting bursted down here, though. We're going to go into this fight. Uh, stricken going very, very low here. The shark is already played out. Red Mercy in the back can't really do too much. Fizz gets dropped by Sona of all characters, and it's going to be MFG Color looking for the back line here. He gets on to Mince Fresh, but a pause. Oh, dear. Oh, boy. Uh, let's take an, a, an analytical view of what the fight looks like right now. Both teams have one character down. Stricken almost down, but as is Yasuo. How do you think the rest of this is going to go? Honestly, at this point, um, the two characters that are taken out on Red Mercy's side are much more effective in the team fight at this point than the Elise and the Fizz are. So I feel like and if it comes down to a 3v3, I think that Kiss My Ace does have the advantage. Yeah. Simply because the Lucian is so strong, he can cleanse the Wither. Um, if they actually do wind up fighting, I'm pretty sure the Spice would go to Kiss My Ace, and it would allow them to kind of push out their lanes, ward up their jungle, and uh, get them back into this game for sure. And I mean, look at the gold, it's still very close, only a 3k difference, yeah. even with 8 towers down. Yeah, I definitely agree. Super tight game, and actually all the games have been really tight like this. But I, I agree as well that the, if the fight does continue on, unless Yasuo can find a way to be effective, with as little health as he has right now, and he doesn't have any life steal on him, does he? He does have Hydra, and Hydra oh, okay. life steals a ton. Right. If right, he right. could make his way to race or even top lane, if a chase keeps going down, he could pick up either a free tower or get back in the fight if he plays it well. So right, right. The only thing is that uh, he knows he's not on a ward right now, and if he goes to race, he won't be sure or he'll know that he's on a ward because there's a ward there. Yeah. So and that could be a pretty determ determining factor. Let's see what, uh, how the rest of this plays out, though. Fizz, unfortunately, still working his way to Zonius. It's going to be a while. He's got, I think, 2,100 left on that purchase. It's going to be a very long time. Um, but even so, let's say on the back of this, this all kind of, you know, flitters out. Nothing really happens. Although it probably will, considering that you've got a... Who is that? Is that Sona? Yeah, you've got Sona pinched in between... The, actually, sorry, it's Sona and Nasus. Pinch in between the Renekton, the Lulu, the Elise, and the Lucian. Mm -hmm. So let's see how this goes. I'm going to get my caster voice ready. Uh -huh. All right, so the, the fight will continue on here. Lucian just pounding it out on Nasus, where MFG Color on Renekton is going to continue after the Sona. I don't know if, if Nasus is the right choice here. Yeah, he's ghosting away. He's super big, very tanky. And like you said, Red Mercy going down into that Wraith camp, heals up a little bit, and it's going to be still Lucian chasing down with Lulu and Renekton on the back foot. I honestly think Nasus, if you would have known that Elise, excuse me, was heading down mid lane, I would have waited in the in a bush and just went back and backdoored in, in him. Yeah. Having an in, in him down just guarantees you that you're going to have some time to work with. Yeah, he can clear it so quickly too with that Sheen and that Q. All right, so one tower and one dragon. Do you think that's a good trade? I think they should take what they can get, honestly. Um, they need to use this advantage they have gained to ward, protect their inhibitors, pick up what they can, get their buffs. And uh, I really think... Oh, Fizz got to Zonia's right now, so I guess that's okay. Um, they really just... The only way they're going to win this fight is if they have insane protection for the Lucian. Right. Now, interestingly, Fizz has actually been doing alright with that. He has, yeah. He's been using his damage... Sometimes on tanks, but he's definitely been using his ult on the front line to try to get through that. And you can see now Red Mercy walking around. He's a little bit tankier now. He's got a Sunfire Cave to his name, but he's still got a mean amount of damage. No Eye Edge still. Yep. Very interesting move. He's probably going to go for a Last Whisper next, too. So. Yep, and you can see MFC Color getting in there. Gets shielded up by Lulu. Fizz looks like he's going to go down pretty low. No Zonias. He had the availability the whole time. Steel Cell gets dropped. And the fight will continue on. Sad Dad dropping. Oh, man. Elise goes down. Lulu's down. Looks like Lucian's still up, but he's going to get That's dropped. Game. And that is the end of the game. Guaranteed. Still an inhib that they have to take down. So by them a couple of seconds here. And no creep wave. So it'll be a little bit tougher. It's just Renekton needs to get in there. Fire up and see what he can get done. His ultimate just ended. It's just not going to be enough. 
this is the end of the game, MFG color, you may as well get your head in there, see if you can get something done, but no, he's just going to go ahead and let them have the game. Red Mercy moves on, the fan favorite of the tournament, brought to you by Esports Canada, playing for a pretty decent prize pool, I am...